and hopefully we are going to make Jurassic Park 4 in your, all, all of your foreseeable futures, all of our foreseeable futures, hopefully within the next uh, two or three years. Cool. Um, hello, I have to make this really quick. Um, thank you, Peter Jackson, for your work on Lord of the Rings. It's my favorite, favorite film story, trilogy, so thank you so much. Same thing to Steven Spielberg. Thank you so much for your films. Um, my question is, uh, what made you uh, film uh, the, sec the Secret of the Unicorn as opposed to the other adventures, Tintin books such as Tintin the Picaro's Flight 714 or The Calculus Affair? Um, well, it was it was an interesting choice because there is 24 Tintin adventures and and they're, and they're all different. I mean, they go to different parts of the world. Some of them are even different tones, different um, themes. But we we wanted to start um, the cinematic uh, life of Tintin, as you could say, with a story that brought Captain Haddock and Tintin together because for us that relationship was, was critical. And even though Hergé um, started the Tintin series without Captain Haddock in the 1930s. By, um, by 1939, 1940, he'd developed the Captain Haddock character, and so we wanted that, that meeting between those two to be part of the first film. And that meeting comes from the Crab with the Golden Claws. So we've taken a section of that and we've grafted it into the secret of the unicorn as the, the body of the film, if you like, as the central part of the, of the mystery. And, and, and the secret of the unicorn was really chosen for various reasons. I mean, it was a great plot, it was a great story, and, and Stephen and I thought of ways in which we could expand and develop it a little, little further even to make, you know, the, turn the book into a movie. But it also, having developed um, this, this, the, the beginnings of this relationship with Haddock and Tintin, the Secret of the Unicorn goes into Haddock's uh, backstory. His ancestry is part of, is inherently part of the plot, and so that appealed to us because that, you know, that character of Haddock is being established um, in the movie. So it seemed to make sense to to start with that, with, with those, that was a combination of those two stories. New Zealander Peter, hey, how's how it going? I'm good. Thanks yeah. for judging the 48 hours. Um, it's a pleasure. Uh, my question was, what do you? This is for both of you. What do you think makes a great short film? What do you look for in young filmmakers' work and that sort of thing? Well, you know, I I look at you know a lot of short films every year. Uh, we don't we don't we we never had YouTube when we were first starting out, so we had to go door to door with an eight millimeter projector, hand carry with a screen to sit up in someone's office to try to get work. But I love the amount of um, freedom that technology has offered very creative people and being able to express who they are through film or video and that's happening more today than it's ever happened in history and what I simply look for in a short film is something that's not a send-up of some somebody else's work but is totally original because I'm interested in hearing the voice behind the filmmaker who are you in your life what do you believe in and you can't just believe in movies and make short films that copy other people's films, but what do you have to contribute to the dialogue, to the conversation? That's always what I look for in a short film. You know, yes, visual style, but also content. And can you tell a story? Do you know how to tell a story? It's more than just a lot of quick cuts. You know, it's where's the beef, so to speak. That's what I look for. I mean, I, I think that, you know, it, 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 you can't actually uh, describe a, a ingredients that would go into a good short film. What you're looking for, is you want to react to the film in a, in a way that, that, that excites you and that you see things in the movie that, that give you a sense that this, the person that made this film or the people that made the movie have a real uh, inherent um, understanding of storytelling and film. And, and it's, a, it's, an, it's intangible. There's no ingredients. It's just either there or, or it's not, or, it's, or you see, the, you, you see a, 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 um, a small sort of kernel of it in there. But I'll tell you what, the, 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 the best thing is to make a short film. I mean, the, the, you know, over the years, so many people have contacted me wanting to get into the film industry, and yet I just, you know, say, well, make a make a film. There's really that's what you should do if you if you want if you because if you want to be a director, you're going to have to have a hell of a lot of drive and determination. You're going to have to be obsessed with it because if if you're not, that ain't going to happen. And and if you can't get it together to make a short film, it will never happen. So if you really want to become f filmmakers, or you know, either directors or writers, or just part of the, the film industry, grab a camera, grab an iPhone, grab anything, and just go out and start shooting. And, and that's, that's absolutely what you need to do. Good question. I think this is going to be uh, our last question. Hello. I was, this question's for Mr. Spielberg. Uh, do you still like the 
I don't know if you still use film. I've used, <laughs> used film on everything except Tintin because there is no film step in the technology. Otherwise, everything else is on film. celebrate uh, Hollywood magic. Hey, when you guys think Hollywood magic, you think Peter Jackson and you think Steven Spielberg. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Jackson. 